Hi there, welcome to Ideal Dairy. Today we're gonna to look at the journey milk takes from our farm to the grocery store shelves. The process is fast, but a lot goes into bringing this wholesome product to your refrigerator. The journey of course starts with our cows. Every day our primary focus is to keep our cows comfortable and healthy so they can produce lots of high quality milk. We milk our cows three times a day. In between each milking, the parlor is shut down for a complete system wash so it is clean and ready to go for the next milking. It's milking time. These girls have come from their barn and are eager to get onto the parlor and get milked. The girls walk onto the deck and ride around, kind of like a merry-go-round. As they enjoy the ride, down below they are getting milked. We start by cleaning and sanitizing their teats with a foaming iodine-based sanitizer. Throughout the milking process, our steps are providing stimulation to let our cows know naturally it is time for her to let down her milk. At the next step, we clean and dry their teats with a cloth towel. Next, we attach the milking unit. At this stage, our cows are ready to let down their milk. These milking units gently suck the milk from the cow. The milk flows through the machines and into the pipeline. Inside the center of the rotary, all the milk is being metered and measured, collecting data on the production of each and every cow in our herd. From the meters, it flows into this low line. And the low line flows into the transfer jar by gravity. From the transfer jar, it is pumped overhead to the center of the parlor where the swivel is. From the swivel, the milk continues to flow through the pipeline, through the tunnel, under the rotary, and into the milk house. From the tunnel, it's pumped into the milk house, where it's filtered through these four filters. The filter is very fine paper that keeps all any kind of foreign material out of the milk. From the filters, the milk continues to flow through the plate heat exchanger. And it brings the temperature of the milk down from 101 degrees to 34 to 36 degrees where it then is flowed through a meter. From the meter, it flows through the sampler, which will collect the sample that, where the milk is tested for quality and cleanliness. continues through the pipeline till it gets to the back of the trailer where it's loaded for transport. And the whole process is just a minute or two from the, when the milk is flows from the cow at 101 degrees till it's loaded into the trailer at 34 to 36 degrees. When the cow's udder is comfortably and completely milked out, the milking unit automatically detaches from her udder. Before our cows return to their barns, their udders are sanitized one more time by our teat spraying robot. This robotic arm, visually guided by an eye, locates the teats and sprays the sanitizer directly onto them. 
This final step is extremely important for utter health and cleanliness. From the time the girls walk onto the rotary until they exit takes about eight and a half minutes. After their short visit to the parlor, our cows will return to their barns where they will eat, sleep, and socialize until it is time for them to be milked again in about eight hours. Each day, three tractor trailer loads of milk leave our farm. That's almost 24,000 gallons of milk every single day. Our milk is purchased, transported, and marketed by a cooperative, Dairy Farmers of America, or DFA. As a cooperative, DFA is owned by member farmers just like us. You may be familiar with some of their brands. While there are countless options of delicious dairy products that can be made from milk, the majority of our milk is packaged for fluid consumption at the Guida plant in Connecticut. From there, it will be transported to the grocery store where it will be purchased and enjoyed for its nutritional value and flavor by families like yours. On our farm, we are so proud of the care we give our cows and the quality product we produce, but we couldn't do it without this team of amazing people by our side. We hope you learned a little bit about our farm and the milk we produce. As always, remember to drink milk, it's really good for you.